Okay, so under a question under binary operations. So the operation star is actually on A and B, where it is equal to A squared plus 2B. So I'll write that. So A star B is equal to A squared plus 2B. So now the first part of the question is asking us to find negative 1 star 3. So how is it can we handle that? So it's just as simple as it is. A matches up with negative 1, B matches up with 3. So where there is A will put negative 1. So negative 1 squared plus where there is B we are putting a 3. So what is our result? So we have 1 plus 6 giving us 7. Then the other part of saying we would have to find um, 3 star negative 1 which is equal to so we have 3 squared plus 2 and then our b is negative 1 so plug in negative 1 so then we have 3 squared is a 9 and then 2 times negative 1 is a minus 2 giving us the answer of 7 so what are we trying to say so the way binary operations work is you make sure you're matching up whatever comes first in this case it matters okay because if you check a it is a so if you are given 3 to be a where there is a you put what your 3 as we can see so we found in both cases for both negative 1 and they are both giving us what 7 now do we have to conclude from that point to say since negative 1 star 3 and 3 star negative 1 are giving us 7 does it mean that it's commutative or would have to go beyond that so that's exactly why I came up with this question so let's try to answer the question now the question was now asking us to determine whether the binary operation is commutative or not Okay, so commutative talks about the aspect of it doesn't matter what you start with, you basically get to get the same result. Now, we cannot base our solution on the same negative 1 star 3 and 3 star negative 1 just because they're giving us 7. So, we'd have to use the equation itself. A star B is equal to A squared plus 2B. So, now, the question under discussion is, is it also going to give us the same result if we started with B? That's the aspect of commutativeness. So it will be now b squared plus 2a. So if you observe the right hand side, are these the same? Do you feel a squared plus 2b is equal to b squared plus 2a? They are obviously not the same. So that's why if you can try even others, you find that it will not work out. Okay, if you try different numbers other than 3 and negative 1, which give us a 7. What if we decided to try maybe, uh, let's say, 3 and 2? So if you try 3 and 2, for the first one, if you start with 3 and 2, you have 3 squared and 2. And then if you start with 2 and 3, is the answer the same? 3 squared is 9 plus 4, 13. One on the bottom, we've got 4. 4 plus 6. 10. So they are not the same actually. So it was only by coincidence that 3 star negative 1 and negative 1 star 3 were giving us 7. So never should you base your conclusion on the aspect of using, using numbers. Use the letters as they are given. So since this is true, since they are not equal, it's not commutative. Now the last part of the question was... asking us now determine whether it is associative or not so we have a star b being equal to a squared plus 2b so how do you find associativeness how do you basically get to deal with it so this is an aspect where now you have more than three so a star b in brackets and then the sister c for it to be associative even a star b star c should also be the same 
So of course I did explain earlier to say if you look at this, they tell you what you're supposed to start with. A binary operation is always supposed to start with two things. So looking at the first one, which is already S to B, and then we have a C. So notice that S to B has already been given. It is equal to that. Okay. So that's what we have. That is equal to S squared plus 2B. So we are now performing a binary operation against C. So this is now denoting, representing the first part A, and then our B is being denoted by C. So substituting the equation. So where is A, we're going to put A squared plus 2B squared plus C. Where is B now, B is matching up with C. So we have to C. Now we can now handle the other part, the right hand side, which is now A star B star C. Okay, so we need to find B star C since it's not given. So if we actually substitute B star C directly there, we're going to have B squared plus 2C. So that is what is denoting what? B star C. So substitute. So the first part is A, which is A itself. So it will just remain A squared. And then where there is B now, we are putting B star C, which is equal to B squared plus 2C. So the question at hand is, are these matching up? Are they the same? So clearly we can see that they are not basically the same. So since this, this is also not true, the binary operation is not associative. 